Hi guys, what's going on, Master Jacob? So, um, like I said in my previous video, um, I'm gonna be doing more videos, uh, or trying to upload more videos this week. So, these next five days, because I'm doing jack shit and uh, quarantine and Corona. Anyway, uh, so here's my adding this to your deck. Uh, it's different from everything you've probably seen online. I'm just trying out different variants. So hopefully, um, you guys can help me out. I'm new to the deck, so I've been trying to. I'm reading a lot, you know, looking stuff online. So. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, so we got three Achichi. Uh, he's the monster uh, searcher of the deck, so bring Stratos. And then a start damage step when your Cyrus monster battles, you can banish this from Gaver to destroy that monster. So destroy your opponent's monster. So that's pretty good. Uh, we got three Kukuri. She is the, or he, whatever, fucking Cybers. Kukuri. Um, is the spell trap searcher. And you can target one Agnes you control and becomes level four. So. Good synchro and exceed plays. Uh, I'm for these ones. I'm playing one wind, one dark, one water, two earth, and two of the other uh, dark. So, uh, I mean, if you guys want to know, um, yeah. So, uh, RJ, what are the what's the bun bun Buru -buru. Buru -buru. Buru -buru is the foolish burial. Yeah, because okay. it will send a spell trap. What's this one? Um, so if you do. If you t if you're adding this to monster battles, uh -huh. you could discard it. You take nothing, and your monster can't be destroyed. Uh -huh. But if one of your adding this monster burns your opponent, you can banish it from your grave, and it does double. Dope. All right, blue one. She's your <laughs> ritual. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna read off cards. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so she's your ritual monster and, and spell as long as you tribute a link monster to get its effect. Okay. But then she after that effect resolves, she becomes a level four. Okay, cool. All right, Earth Guy. I know he's a fusion one, right? Yeah. You okay. return a Link monster from your grave back into the extra deck to f search for the AI love fusion. Then if you control an addict Mr. Or if your opponent controls a Link monster while you have an addict Mr. Monster on the field, uh -huh. you can use the, their Link monster as a fusion material. Dope. Okay, and then this one's kind of like my second favorite, or third favorite, but... Yeah, because uh, that one, if it's normal or special, you return an Attic Mister Monster from your graveyard back to your hand. Cool, yeah. He's like my second, third favorite, so... All right. And then I know I know this one, because I like this one. So this one uh, burns, or no, destroys monsters that are less mm. than 23. It's 23 or less. Yeah. And it returns it to the hand. That's Does why not I like target. It. Also, it's other effect, which is really nice. You select an opponent's monster, uh -huh. make it zero. Oh, yeah, so that makes it... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's like tar so target, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, also, with the AI ritual spell, mm -hmm. if you control an addict Mr. Monster, you can actually banish some of the materials from your graveyard. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that one I like. That's why I like the ritual more. <laughs> all right, and then, uh, so after all that, he's gonna more explain more. Uh, but the three lady debug is Stratos, obviously, so level three or lower. Uh, no need to explain. Uh, I play one Prey of the Snake. I couldn't find anything for the four, 38, or 39th and 40th card, so uh, just one Prey of the Snake just to help clear off stuff that can't be destroyed. Uh, three Ash, we all know what Ash does. Um, I'm playing one AI Ritual, one I Love Fusion, one TI Strike, and triple idol reborn. Uh, so one for the ritual, you can, what RJ just said, uh, you can banish stuff from your grave to ritual, you can uh, do, uh, it's like a super poly, this one does attack manipulation, right, the TI, and then the idol reborns, just a monster reborn, that's a also, quick play. that one has a really nice secondary effect. The idol you, reborn? Mm-hmm. Okay. You can, when two monsters, your monster battles an opponent's monster. You can right. banish it from the grave, along with a card in your hand, to return one of your banished or one of your spell or traps in your grave that's an AI card back to your hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, but definitely a good recursion. Uh, and then the uh, island, uh, you know, at this point, take it away, RJ. <laughs> um, so, the way this works is if you control no monsters, you can special an addict Mr. Monster from your hand. Here's the downside. Can I go on that? Um, the downside is you can't bring any other monster with the same original attribute as the monster you special summon off of it. Also, the only thing you can go c that comes out of your extra deck is Cybers. Yeah, so there you go, folks. <laughs> uh, so terraforming, search out the field spell, even though you play um, Pokery or 
victory, victory, yeah. All right. It, it's like uh, the spice. Yeah. It, it's just like, yeah. Oh, oh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, not the drug, the actual, like, ingredient. Yeah. Uh, pot of Avarice, because shuffle everything back, because, like, you can recur that way. Uh, three, secret signet minings. Secret. Uh, three, uh, you have to search out Cybers. Three, call by, because it's one of the most fragile decks so far that I've played that needs the extra, um, protection. Uh, once we get more support, uh, for drawing, like, for the lance and the shield that I see on Dueling Book, like, it's, it's, yeah. Um, okay, one, one, one more card. AI Shadow, what does it do? AI Shadow, uh, gives, because you have to target a Cybers monster to get it to go off first. Right, and this gives is just that my monster. Portion. 800. Yeah. Then your opponent can only target that one for attacks and card effects. So I might be playing two this time. Okay, but yeah, for one for now. And then um, a red reboot, same as called by. Uh, it's you gotta protect through um, any trap, obviously, but evenly matched. Um, impermanence. Uh, typhoon, maybe. I mean, yeah. But it's just more protection, okay. and plus it's that one, so. So it's only attacks? Yeah. But it does have a secondary effect for the AI Shadow. Uh-huh. If able, if this card face up on the card in your owner's possession, spell and trap zone has left the field because of an opponent's card, uh -huh. it's now in the grave, you can banish it. Or, if it's into the grave or banished, you draw a card. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. But yeah, like I said, we're getting the, the draw spells and everything, so. Alright, so here, here's, I got this one now. Earth Golem. Because it's Earth Golem. No, I'm just <laughs> um, This one I actually do like. I'll actually take read this, so. Uh, after this card's future summon, you take no damage for the rest of this turn, so burn or attack. If this card attacks an opponent's special monster from the extra deck, this card gains equal to the original attack during damage step only. When this card is destroyed by battle, you can target one Cyber's monster graveyard, except Earth Golem, and special summon it. One of my favorite ones, actually, like really good. And I this prefer Pegasus. Pegasus is the one that pops a back row, so equal to the in, Attic Mister Monsters you control. Yes. So which is really good. I only play one, but I mean, it's if the second one comes up, then I'll add it. It's just like I said, it's all testing. Um, two Light Dragon. Uh, Light Dragon's really good. It's the Monster pop Popper. Yeah, monster Popper and what else was it? The and uh, search battles and, and then yeah, inflict damage and then special summon Cyber. So it's it's pretty good. Uh, two long Grebo with it. Uh, I'm not playing three. Uh, this one stops traps, which is really good. So and, and no more added protection. So it's like a second and third um, red reboot. Uh, and then I'm I am playing the one fire phoenix adding this year. I do like this one because it does when you attack it burns. So why not play it? Uh, and then it comes back too, which is good. So phoenix uh, dark templar is a mini soul charge, which is really good. Uh, what's up? Oh, no, I'm getting to that. <laughs> uh, Cyber Quantum, because I can make it. Uh, kind of wondering maybe if I should play it. Um, I did, and that's all for that one. Um, so, Link, Link Disciple. I wanted to play Link Devotee, but I have to go into Dark Templar, so, which is kind of stupid, but I'm playing this. That way I can tribute off and draw one card and set one card back. So, an extra draw. Um, have to play Cyber's Wicked. Kind of stupid, but might as well. I am trying uh, Cross Sheep. So, Cross Sheep, since we play Exceed, Synchros, Rituals, Fusions. Um, I attempt to play Cross Sheep. So, I, ha like, I have not played this deck yet. It's just an idea um, right now. Um, one, Mike the Masquerina, because that way I can go into this bad boy. <laughs> Do a Firewall Dark Fluid. Like, why not play it? It's your boss monster of the deck, essentially. So, um, but yeah, we don't know what that does. And then this, as many calendars as you use. I play the Ritual, so obviously I'm going to play um, this. So, if I can get as many calendars as I can, OTK, Negate, what have you. So, all right, well, that was the deck. Uh, a lot of explaining from RJ. <laughs> Say hi. So, yeah, since he knows uh, more about this deck than I do, I'm probably going to be playtesting with him more, getting more ideas from him. Um, as well as you guys, if you want to come already subscribe. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, more videos are coming the way. I promise you, first day. Um, anyway, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys later.